lot of people don't realize that Excel has layers, and using layers is what enables us to start doing more complex designs and complex visual effects. The base layer is your cell grid layout, and on top of that you can add in shapes, images, text, charts, all that kind of stuff. It's not as hard as you might think, and the UI looks exactly the same as PowerPoint. So if you've ever built a cool PowerPoint slide, you can probably start building pretty cool designs in Excel too. So I build lots of dashboards, like the one above here in Excel, and people often see these and they just go, whoa, that's way too advanced, I could never do that. Kind of, the funny thing is that most people have like 95% of the skills they need to do this already. This is like standard Excel features. There's no plugins or custom coding or anything fancy like that. It's just using pivot charts, metrics, slicers in kind of a maybe a creative way that people might not have thought of using them before but the underlying skills are actually pretty straightforward so if you know how to use pivot charts if you know how to do that kind of stuff already you're in a really good place to start getting your data ready to start building something like that the visual design part of it though is the part that i think scares people off sometimes but there's this thing about excel that people don't realize and that's that excel has like 90 percent of the same visual design features that you would use in powerpoint this is something that people just don't realize. So Excel has layers like this. Your farthest layer back is your cell grid layout. And then on top of that, you have your charts, your shapes, everything layered, even images or icons to start to create a design. So most people are familiar with this in PowerPoint, right? You uh, insert a shape, insert an image, you have to move something forward or back, and then you stack those things together to start creating designs. Well, if you just start doing the same thing in Excel, you can start creating cool visual effects like this pretty easily. If you can build it in PowerPoint, there is a really good chance that you can also build it in Excel. All the features are just under the Insert tab under Shapes, uh, or in this case under Illustrations, where you'll see pictures, shapes, icons, even 3D models. You wanna drop a 3D model of a T-Rex in there, you can totally do it. It's an option in Excel. But it's worth going and playing with this stuff. I think the easiest way to learn this stuff is just by getting like a sample file and deconstructing it. Start pulling it apart, seeing how each thing is styled and just kind of figuring out where there might be holes in the knowledge that you already have. If you want one of those, I have a newsletter where I send out free templates like that, like this, just to get people started. So you can check that out if you want. You'll be able to start doing this way faster than you would expect. Like it's, it is much easier than you might expect. Anyway, thanks so much everybody. Hope that was helpful. Um, I'd love to see what kind of Excel stuff you guys are working on too. All right, see ya.